Should you buy NCAA? I'm not even a huge college person myself, but for some reason I'm drawn to this game. So today you guys are gonna help me decide if I should buy this game or not. If it sway me enough, we gonna buy it at the end of this video. Shout out to Eric Rayweather. He made this video, so W mans. It's time to talk about the five best things and the five worst things about College Football 25. Bet. I've been playing the game for a bit now and I've been looking at feedback all over the internet as well. So I've put together a list of things the game shines at and things that need some work. And over the years on this channel, I've grown to learn that people view these games very differently. They Something do. That they you do. May think is very important. Somebody else might not care about it at all, and very vice true. versa. That's so why I'm making my guess. Touch on all my, these things because not yeah. everybody plays the game the same way. Also, I do have some copies of the game officially to give away. I've got a few for Xbox. Fun fact, y'all, I was in a band. So the fact that they added the marching band aspect, W's. Before we get into the list, let me first start by saying that I do think this oh, is a wow. very good game. It's a game that I'm having. Already out the gate. I'm not going to pause this video a lot. I'm sorry, y'all. Already out the gate. Look at the graphics. The it's graphics really alone. It's the most fun I've had on a football game in many, many years. Probably over a decade. There's been a couple mad together. games here and there that I have really enjoyed, but nothing like this. I don't even want to put tunnel. this game down. However, that doesn't mean every single thing about the game Showing the is crowd. The and we're going to talk about that in this this video now first let's start with the five best things in my opinion number one without a doubt is the gameplay Fact. this is a thing that you've seen probably praised the most about this game now that doesn't mean that every single person thinks the gameplay is good i've seen some people say that they think the gameplay is trash again it That's all goes cap. back to everybody kind of views these games differently some people see a certain issue with the gameplay that just completely Calling the gameplay trash after we haven't had an NCAA in a long time is crazy. We haven't had an NCAA in, a, in what, since uh, 14, don't quote me, I don't know, 13, 14, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm, like I said, I'm not really huge into college, but we haven't had an NCAA in a long time, so calling it trash is wild. This looks beautiful. I don't even like college, but off of the look alone, I would play this game kills it for them whereas other people it might not be as big of a deal to me and i think to many Look others the gameplay the is the thing that shines Fluidity. the most with this game Callback. it feels fun it feels rewarding is it the most sim game of all time no but it has a lot of fun Look at elements the flow. to Look it at the flow. i think Ooh. that is Ooh. the best way in my opinion to oh, play yeah. football or just a sports game in general i Ooh. think you need to have a balance if it's Stop, way too far to the side of being 100 percent simulation you run into an issue of it being fun Ooh. for the mass audience and then if it's too far arcade, it's just wonky Ooh, and it's not off. fun to play either. Hey. There's a lot of aspects of this game that live up to simulation, like the pass trajectories. No, oh, the touchdown! Oh, yeah, that's six. That's six. That's six. You that's can six. get really good pass leads. You see, can really get good see, arc on the ball. Tech. You can put the ball pretty much where you want it. The wear and tear system is another great addition to the gameplay that feels very real. I you have love to monitor the way this the looks. Chad, am I taking. tweaking? You want to be careful with them, otherwise they can get injured, or they can take hits to their attributes if they start taking too many painful hits or getting tackled too much. This adds a level of realism that we just haven't had in a football game from ea sports ever somebody in the comment section leave below what did they do because i know they weren't allowed to use actual people that's the reason why they did away with ncaa so are these what did they do like i said I, i'm new to this leave me let me know in the comment section i'm new to this and there's other hip. great gameplay additions that lend to sim football like being able to disguise your coverage shells or being able to have access to more hot routes because in the past you had a limited number of hot routes now you have more hot routes which any qb in real life would have the ability to do now you have the ability to do that in the game you can also adjust the depth of these routes again another great feature for gameplay wow. but aside from all of that the game just feels fun on field the jukes and spins are very rewarding they are okay. a little arcadey at times but that makes the game fun this is the most Ooh. fun playing yeah, game i, I think i've ever played is it the most sim of all time no but it is the most fun the abilities mostly seem rewarding and not too overpowered so far the playbooks are great and unique across the board giving you a bunch of different ways to play and scheme and the home field advantage i heard you can make your own custom playbook to too i know you've probably been able and to i do can't that, leave huh? out the switch stick maybe the best addition to gameplay in an ea sports game ever or at least since the hit stick Pick. the switch stick yep. is a generational feature that will change how defense is played in this game forever basically you could switch around on your players post snap before the qb throws the ball to really take your defense to the next level and it's been a home run feature so far so I'm you can switch into a lot of warping i'm not running into a lot of wonky stuff that we've seen oh, sometimes yeah, over yeah, the years with madden bucket. everything feels pretty rewarding everything yeah, feels ran. pretty satisfying obviously there are still a couple issues with the gameplay blocking at times can be better the pursuit which we'll talk about later in the video definitely needs work the zone coverage could play a little tighter but overall this game is too much fun to play for me to get hung right. up over those couple of things about gameplay. Look at that. that. Look at the detail. Now, really that is continue with the running, that's crazy. Players to up and right, play get your money up. Get your money up. I know the vibes. Without a doubt. They really nailed every team of being. Look at that. Look at that. Bro, bro, bro.
Y'all can't tell me this doesn't make you want to play. Look at the, even the blue turf. Does that mean that every single thing is perfect? No, there's a couple instances here or there where yeah, they miss bro. something. I wouldn't skip any of these cutscenes either. But most of it is I would watch this. And we I'm know saying that with now. the years to come, they're going to keep get building old, on huh? this. A lot of teams have very unique intros that are true to what they do in real life. They have their band songs, their crowd chants. A lot of teams have their mascots. And we even have two announced crews in the game on top That's of all that. So fire. the commentary doesn't get stale. Now, I will say a slight the fact that they show the, the commentary is it doesn't quite feel alive enough enough it could be better it does also feel just slightly delayed at times i know that chris fowler did come out and say that he is actually re-recording a good amount of lines for this game because even he felt that he wasn't saying it with enough energy oh, wow. so that's good to know that they're already tweaking some of these things to make it better but overall top to bottom this is some of the best presentation we have i seen bet the rivalry game games go very long crazy time. i mean even down to the fact that some schools have real licensed music that plays okay. during the game for them or the fact oh, that when you score a touchdown know, in right? certain stadiums banged, you'll hear cannons style. go off or you'll hear the crowd would do a certain chant just like they do in real life they really knocked it out of the park with presentation and on top of that i'll just throw the graphics in with that as well thank you. the game thank looks you. beautiful from thank the shine you. and the scuffs on the helmets to the puddles that splash up when they're running in the rain Even they really did a phenomenal job number three the college football playoff mode Probably i need to see this i need to see this. this game this is the online head-to-head -head mode that you play with regular teams but the format they've created for this is a lot of fun it's basically a mini season and after you win a certain amount of games you get put into a college football play off bracket with other users that are in your kind of same That's skill tough. ranking level That's tough. online then you go through that and you try to win the national championship the more you win the higher you rank up in divisions and just in the overall leaderboard now how you rank up in this mode has a bunch of different factors obviously winning is the most important but if you're playing with lower overall oh, teams oh, and you're beating oh, better oh, teams oh, oh, you're actually going to get I more ranking that. whereas if you're playing with a better team and you're beating an equal team or a lesser team you're not going to rank up as much but okay. another detail that i love about this mode is that they have split the teams up into three tiers so for example if you want to play with a oh, lower -rated tier three team, you can also choose to search for only other users that are playing with a tier three team. So if you want to mix it up and play with a small school that isn't very good, you don't have to worry about going outside, with a team like Alabama if you don't want to. The only drawback from this mode is that they will not oh, allow yeah, you yeah, to change inside, your playbook. You have to yeah. play with the playbook of the team ah, you're using. Now, depending on who you are, help. you might like that. Some people really love that. I do think it makes it pretty interesting and a little bit of fun. But overall, I would vote to change the playbooks because I think that's a really important part of online cut gaming, up, cut especially up, in a football up, game up. is being able to use the playbook you want. I see that. Update this, but overall, the mode is a ton of fun. Number four, recruiting. This is definitely the best part about Dynasty mode. And trust me, we'll get to some of the issues that Dynasty has in a minute. But the recruiting, I think they've done a phenomenal job with this and it seems like that's what they put the majority of their time into for dynasty mode for the first iteration of this game which makes sense because that is really the most important thing about the mode the recruiting is a ton of fun it's definitely challenging as a small school you're not gonna be able to just easily get big name recruits although okay. it can still okay. happen it's very in-depth down to being able to so they really players, made it so like you could family, be a coach you could, the house you could be like a, a manager them, or owner hard sell them you can even try to persuade a guy away from another school to yours i think this is actually one of the best parts about this game and it's something that does make dynasty solid if nothing else and I never got five, into Dynasty. Team Builder. Team Builder launched a little bit later than we thought, but man, I had a ton of fun with this already. I've already got multiple teams in the game, and I've been looking through all the other user-generated teams, and it's crazy how many teams are in the game so far, and it's pretty detailed. I mean, we've got smaller college schools being put in the game, and they look pretty much spot on. I put my yeah. old high school in the game. I made another fictional team. I had a ton of fun with this, That's and tough. although the website is a little buggy at times, some people are having some issues Ooh, for sure, one more. especially in the Chrome. Oh, uh, you should have come back outside! There's a lot of different options here that you can choose to create the team that you want the only real drawback of this is they have no generic stadium so you have to yep, use yep. Oh, beautiful, stadium beautiful. although there are yep, a look decent look number back. of look look regular back. stadiums that don't have a ton of branding on them so you can kind of get away with this but i would like to see them add some generic choices here for sure or just give us a stadium creator which i, think I agree i think that'd be tough you want to do that would take us over tough. the top but as it stands right now team builder i think is pretty in depth and it's a lot of fun and i'm already seeing some crazy creations in the game now let's start with the five worst things about the game and unfortunately the first one all right all right so far so far like i said we got halfway through the video we got the five best things about the game right now i'm leaning more towards the yes let's see what happens the number three worst thing is the limited customization now on one hand we have team builder which is like the ultimate customization but really inside dynasty mode editing players that's where the customization is limited and we knew going into this well before the game came out that it was going to be that way because of right. the nil players and also ea being a little overprotective let's be honest they want this game to be out there be successful and keep producing it it's got a target on its so back it was, for easy lawsuits. Okay. so okay. i do think in the first year or two they're going to be a little overprotective about things and they may open it up later but we knew going in that this was going to be that way so on one hand i don't know 
know why people are freaking out so much Facts. because it was pretty Facts. well documented this was going to happen. However, there are a couple instances that I feel like they should be able to adjust. Number one, you can't edit players' numbers inside of Dynasty mode. That uh, seems a little off yeah, to me. You yeah. can edit their names, but you can't edit their numbers. It almost feels backwards. The numbers should be the thing you should definitely be able to edit. Facts, and when it comes man, to your so recruits, important. you can't edit their ratings. I don't really see why it's an issue to edit recruits' ratings because these are all fictional players. So if you can add the ability to change numbers and add the ability to edit your recruits to some degree, maybe not their names. I think more people would rather be able to edit the ratings and the number than the name because obviously they don't want people creating future big name recruits who have not signed their rights over to the game yet. We know that NIL is the reason for this, but I think maybe balance it a little bit better and yeah, people would no, have a time no, fun because this is another thing that is holding back I Dynasty outside of those few bugs and a couple things that didn't make it into the game. The limited customization on recruits specifically really holds it back for a lot of people. So I would hope that they can Ooh. reconsider this and switch this up a little bit to give us some more options with at least the recruits, if nothing else. The number four worst thing about the game are the pursuit angles. Now, this is the one area that I said I would talk about later. Gameplay, I think, is fun. It's great. I'm happy with how it is. But let's be honest, the pursuit in this game is pretty obviously the sore spot of gameplay. And I, again, I don't know if this is oh. intentional to create more oh. big plays. We know that this is a game that feels yeah, very offensive based. They want Get a lot up. of big plays. Get they want up. crazy stuff to happen. And it's a lot of fun when that happens. But it's also frustrating when the pursuit is so bad at times that big plays are happening that just should cut not up. You be happening. Up sooner. This Go, is yeah, the outside. one area that yeah. I would critique the yeah. most of anything about gameplay. Make the pursuit a little bit better and then we'd really be cooking. But as of right now, the pursuit angles at times are really laughably bad. And the fifth worst I thing get it. about the game. I get it. I know I was clowning around and hype for the for the TD, but the pursuit angle game definitely is there's is no wild. ESPN presentation. Now we what? knew about this long before the game came out, so this isn't a shocker. And to me personally, this isn't actually Ooh! that bad of a thing. Oh, he but didn't again, get I'm caught. taking into account that a lot of people really did love this about older games and they wanted to see it in this game. I think the game's presentation overall is great, and for I don't sure. really think ESPN is needed, but if we're being fair, a lot of people wanted to see it in this game, and a lot of I people get it. I, I, I would have wanted on. to see that if too. I had to find a fifth thing that's bad about this game because I can't find that many things to be fair. I guess having no ESPN is the thing that I had to land on here because it's the one thing that I still see a lot of people bummed about not being in the game. Now we talked about Damn. presentation a bit in this video. video w right video, man. W video. Ultimately, I'm gonna be honest with you. I skipped the first two negatives about the video because it was about Dynasty and I don't really play Dynasty, but I don't know if that's enough to get me to buy it yet, y'all. What you think? How much is it? <laughs> really, Xbox? Save $7? That may have did it for some people. Let me get seven dollars. Actually, I'm gonna get the trial version. Next video, y'all gonna see the highlights of my NCAA. I promise you. I promise you. I'm gonna do it right now. I think I'm playing. If you made it to this part of the video, I hope I could influence you to either a buy it or not buy it. But I think ultimately I'm gonna end up buying the game. So uh, let me know what you guys are gonna do in the comment section below. But I appreciate y'all as always. Finesse game. We out.